Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we is what you're wondering. Well, we're coming back from the Polis area and we're pretty much at the midpoint. We've come to the top of the mountain so you can descend down to Paphos or back down to Polis. But we're not going to do either of those. Oh no, we're going to take a lefty or a righty. No, we're going to take a righty and we're going to head up towards Cathicus village. That's where we're going. So just over here, this is the start of Stromby village, if you understand me. And we're going to take a right and we're going to head up towards Cathicus. That's where we're going. Why are we going there, you're wondering? Well, we're off on a bit of debt collecting, shall we say. So stick with us. It could get that little bit exciting. You should get some great, great views. And the sun is playing hide and seek with us. And it's that funny time of day. It's around about three o'clock. And uh, the weather, if you're wondering, it's about 14, 15 degrees. So it's a little bit chilly in uptown, where are we? Uptown Paphos district, shall we say. But uh, as you can see, the sky is a little bit blue. And of course, when we start our ascent down towards Paya, you're gonna see that sea is gonna be a little bit blue. I'm dressed head to toe in blue. So all that's actually missing is you. So all you gotta do is get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because Cyprus is quite simply waiting for you. You're going to get some great views, so kick back and chill out and relax, that's for sure. Let's check the sofa. Miss Dawn, are you there? Yes, Mr. Sean. And are my two furry friends there? Little Miss Daisy, the pussycat from Paphos in downtown Cyprus. And of course, her little partner in crime, Mr. Bobo the Doggy Woggie. Mr. Roger, hang on to Miss Anne for all of your life because when we start to descend, it's going to get that little bit bumpy, that's for sure. Lady Caroline, oh, 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 so, so sweet, Caroline. Get your shopper onto the memory foam cushion because it's going to be a bit bumpy and the roads are a little bit Sherlock Holmes, that's for sure. Lord Nigel, knock one back and uh, enjoy the ride, that's for sure. Now, Sir Jeremy, Sir Simon. Hopefully I haven't upset you. Hopefully you've just gone, I don't know, monkeying around in a field somewhere. Hopefully you're not getting chased around by a man who owns a black jeep. Let's hope not. Or perhaps it's a bit damp and cold in uh, downtown Cardiff. But uh, please drop us a line and let us know how you're doing. Because uh, you are our two favourite Kumbaros and you understand that. And Miss Hutching Receiver the Booth is kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts. That's for sure. So like I say, we're going to climb up from Stromby, from the main intersection, from the main road from Paphos to Polis, and we're going to come out in Cathicus village, and I'm going to take you straight through the centre, which is a cobblestone, oldy world area, and there are, I think there's five taverners in the village itself, and there's two or three on the outer extremities, so I was told. I was told there's either seven or eight taverners in the village of Cathicus, and I've been to one or two of them, they are pretty good. In the summer, they're hustling and bustling, should we say, because there's an awful lot of tourists driving around, and there's an awful lot of holiday villas up in this area, and of course, there's a lot of expats living here, so a lot of family members come out and visit, should we say. Hence, those taverners get quite busy indeed. And on this side of town, if you understand me, you can drop down towards Payer, or you can drop down towards Polis to give the road service it's Sherlock Holmes, that's for sure. And the rain seems to have passed a little bit, and hopefully they're right because they told us that over the next few days the sun's going to come kicking back and it's going to roast us up a little bit. So let's hope so because for those of you who follow the channel, you understand that we are desperate to go and spend some of our money. We want to get off to Libertor and we want to go and hunt down a 27 year old S Class Mercedes. Uh, for the geeks out there, like myself, the petrol heads, shall we say. The chassis is a W140, so it's a four-door saloon, short wheelbase, 2.8 litre straight six petrol. So not the fastest car in the world, but of course an S-Class, unless you're a retired gangster or something like that. I mean, we're failed gangsters, so it'll be fast enough for us, that's for sure. We've got a beautiful, sumptuous leather interior, and hopefully it will allow Oh So Sweet to get rid of that memory foam pillar. Hopefully, the ride will be sublime and hopefully we won't have the camera bouncing around because the roads 
to be honest, are completely and utterly Sherlock Holmes. And Miss Oching with Sibiella Booth, that's Miss Marika. She's looking forward to being wafted around in pure luxury, that's for sure. That's what she likes. She likes to go into the clothes shops and spend, 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 and then pirouette and dance on the downtown Keda Papas promenade. And Dame Anne, stop encouraging her, please, because she's trying to spend more and more and more. So here we are. This is the cobblestone area in the centre of Cathicus. Quite a nice church. And we're going to come out and join the payer to Polish Road when we come out the other side. So forgive the uh, camera work. And I'm pretty sure you can see now the sun. Well, it's winning the battle, that's for sure. Mr. Allen, if you're there, knock on the machine. Put your baseball cap on, put your shades on. Let's kick it off, let's get going. Miss Vivian, I feel a bit parched to be honest. What about the rest of the breakfast crew? Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, cup of chai? All right, go on, Vivian. Get some uh, tea brewing and also put some on for later for the lunchtime crew because I think Jamie's coming in. And I don't know what he's bringing with him today, but I think it could be McDonald's. That's what I think. Miss Andrea, always thinking of you. Now, talking about Miss Andrea and Mr. Mark, they're two of our superstar family members, and they've started a YouTube channel, and they are wiggling and waggling in the lanes and the roads in and around Norfolk. And I watched the first video, and I thought it was wonderful. I really did. I enjoyed the drive, and I enjoyed the jibber-jabber in between the two of them about what they were doing and where they're going. So I'm encouraging them to continue with it and keep going. Do one a week. And then when you start to get a little bit of success and the subscribers start to come on board, the family members as we call you, then you can do a couple more. But I'm pretty sure that there's many, many people who are going to enjoy you driving around the lanes and the main roads of the Norfolk and the Suffolk area. A spectacular views, by the way, because we're now coming through Cathicus and we are now starting on our descent towards Payer. And as I've said, why are we going to pay her? Well, we're going to go and quote a job, but on top of that, we're going to go and do some debt collecting because there is a lady that owes me just over a thousand euros, so that's where we're going. We did a bit of car back this morning and uh, she wasn't home, but it's my little joke, you can understand me debt collecting. She's willingly going to pay up, if not, out comes the rubber mallet. So stick with us. Anyone who knows this road understands that you are going to get some great views, but again, I warn you now, whether you know the road or don't know the road, stick to the speed limit and it is 50. So you're allowed to travel up to 70 kilometers an hour before the comparison blues will have you. But it's a bit wiggly and it's a bit waggly. So if you don't know the road, if I was you, I would stick to 60 because then you cannot get into any trouble whatsoever. And that's 60 kilometers by the way. So what's that about 35 miles an hour? And uh, you won't get there any faster if you race because you'll only get caught up behind a JCB or something like that or a tourist car so take your time digest the views because they are truly truly spectacular and you're going to get some great views as we start our descent i promise you and you see the traffic is starting to pick up because of course people are starting to go home you know they've been to work the locals and now they're coming home and they're going to go home to their lovely warm log fires and central heating because it's a little bit chilly in town it is a little bit chilly dawn miss daisy if you're wondering what the temperature actually is according to the dashboard it says up here it's 11 degrees oh my god it's like an ice age but i'm pretty sure when we get down to the payer area it'll be up a little bit and it'll be about 14 15 so not too bad at all and it does appear that the rains have gone i know i've said it before but uh, all day I've been wiggling and waggling around and I've gone through the eye of the storm, come out of the eye of the storm, gone back into it, then it's been sunny, then it's been raining. Sorry for the jibber jabbing, and that's a bit of a rant, because we don't like it when it's raining in downtown Paphos. We just don't like it, it's not nice. All we want is blue, blue skies and blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And people dressed head to toe in blue. We want to get on a big bird, get on a canoe, paddle like crazy, because we understand that Cyprus is quite simply waiting for you.
hopefully you're getting some spectacular views, even for those of you who have been on this road many times. I mean, Dame Anne, we understand you've been on this road. Miss Maggie, well, Anne, we call you now, isn't it? Because you're a top secret agent. You've been on this road many, many times. Mr. Andrew, and I'm sure your partner in crime, Miss Nessie, has been sitting next to you, and you have transcended from uptown Cathicus all the way down to Polis, and then all the way back and down to Payer, I'm sure. And you understand it's a great, great road. It's tempting to go that little bit fast, but to be honest, you should just kick back and relax and enjoy the views because they are spectacular at any time of year. And I think, to be honest, that this time of year, there's something special about the mixing and the mashing of those fluffy clouds in the sky. They break up that bit of blueness and they make it that little bit more spectacular. And when we get a bit of a thunderstorm, I think it makes it that little bit special. Now, have a look at that. In the distance, that's the sun, and it's glistening through the clouds, and it's kissing the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea, and it's a view that quite simply takes your breath away. So, we've started the descent. Stick with us for another three or four minutes, and we will arrive in the downtown Sea Caves area of Payer, and that's where the video is going to end. So I'm going to say thanks for watching, and of course if you do like what you see, why not hit the like, click subscribe, come back for a little bit more of my insanity, and if you really want to help the channel grow, why not click through to our about page where there is the buy me a coffee icon, and uh, I promise you that I'll turn that coffee sometimes into liquid coffee and drink it in the mornings, and then of course when we need benzene for our little road trips, we will liquidate it get it diluted into petrol, pop it in the tank, and of course, well, we'll transcend here, and we will transcend there, that's for sure. Bit of a steep decline this, and all the cambers are wrong. And again, I warn you now, coming down here, stick to the speed limit, because the Gumbaros in blue like to hang out just around this bend. But it's a bit too gold for them today. Miss Daisy understands what I'm talking about. She's an ex-local, now lives in downtown Manchester. I really hope you've enjoyed the drive and I truly, truly appreciate your company and we thank you for every second that you spend with us and Ms. Oching Rossini Alabouf is kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts, that's for sure. Feast your eyes and digest. We're going to keep going all the way down this wiggly waggly road until you get that view that is quite simply to die for and I promise you it's going to take your breath away. Thanks for watching. As promised, I don't think that it can get much better than that. Don't forget to come back for the next one. Hit the like, click subscribe, come back for that little bit more of my complete and utter lunacy.
hopefully that was quite a nice calm cool descent possibly even as good as easy jets and jets could possibly give you see you in the next one